You know, Grit did a good job in here, considering the time. How'd the shaft happen to get wrecked? Well, we figure some of Dad's old enemies were trying to break him and take over the mine. Now it looks like there's a little more to it than that. VR calling HB. VR calling HB. Come in, VR. Hello, Chief. I want to report that right about this time, Jim Hudson and his pal and a box of high explosives ought to be breaking records for going down a mine shaft. And all of a sudden, I felt the roof cave in on me. When I came to, I, I heard this big explosion down in the shaft. It's a signal. They're alive. They want to come up. Okay, Jim. I'll have you up in the jiffy. How are you both? Okay. Hey, Grit, where's Grit? It's not like you to be careless. What happened? Well, as near as I can remember, somebody sneaked up and cracked me on the head. There's only one answer to that. Somebody working right here at the mine, Pop. I'll call the men together. We'll get at the bottom of this right now. No, no, not that way. We gotta be smart. We gotta work from the inside like they do. What riles me is all our work is gone for nothing. How bad was the damage? The cribbing in the lower drift was all caved in. We're fresh out of lumber, too. Are Bradshaw's boys still cutting that timber on the upland lease? Yes. Don't you think I better have a run up there tomorrow and talk with him? Good idea. How would you like a nice trip into the lumber country tomorrow? Oh, would I? How would you like a nice trip into the lumber country tomorrow? Oh, oh come on. be with Bradshaw a few minutes. I see. Right. That was our man at the Hudson Mine. He said the deputy marshal's on his way here to have a talk with you. Let him come. Him and me are old buddies. I'll buy him a drink and send him packing. That's the idea. I'll leave one of the boys here just in case the marshal gets too nosy. You and the rest of the men will have to clear out for a while. Will that interfere with us? Not a bit. As soon as the marshal's gone, we can all come back. Where will you be during this time? I also found out that Jim Hudson's in the upland timber country. I thought I'd mosey up there. Maybe do a little hunting. I gotta hand it to you, Doc. Once you start something, you sure don't give up. I hope you don't mean that as a compliment. As a matter of fact, it would take much more courage for me to stop working. For me, this would become an obsession. 
I neglect my friends, I lose track of time. Hi, you two. Hello. Hello. Back so soon? Yeah. You see, Branch Hill? Yeah, Pop. The best I could do was buy the timber standing. We'll have to cut it and haul it ourselves. Haul it? What in? Well, Branch Hill isn't using his trucks at night, and he said we could use them that. Is the price all right? I think so. It allows for the time we'll put in cutting and hauling. Fair enough. Well, fine, then. I'll leave here with the crew before sunup in the morning. May I go with you again? Sure, if you think you can get up early enough. Oh, Marty. <laughs> First aid kit, Bosun's hurt. Badly? No, just a hand wound. Then how'd it happen? They tried to make friends with the field mouse and she bit him. I'm sorry, Ruth. I shouldn't have brought you up. Never mind that. There was a man up there trying to shoot you. Look out! Let's get back to the car. Here comes the marshal. Don't be too quick with that pop gun. You better get in that room. Marshal, come right on in. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a month of Sundays. Longer than that, I reckon, Mr. Kurtz. Longer than that. Will you have a little drink to warm up? Oh, thanks. I'm on duty. On duty? Way up here in this lonesome neck of the woods? Yep. Seems there's a bunch of hijacking outlaws hiding out around here. I was thinking maybe you'd seen something you'd like to tell the law about. Nope. Ain't seen nothing. 
Even the four-footed skunk's gas up here this season. <laughs> <laughs> well, just thought I'd add. Oh, if you uh, see anything, Mr. Kurtz, let me know. I sure will, Marshal. What was that? Those dang rats. This place is polluted with them. Always knocking something over. I wish I could get rid of them. You're trying to catch that rat. Have a smoke on me. Thanks. I will. So long. So long, Marshal. I'll say it was. Let's have a drink. He's probably cleared out of the neighborhood by now, but I'll keep my eyes open for him. Please do. He's a killer. I'll see you tonight. Tell Dad the Boston and I are bringing down the first load. Feel all right? Bye now. Bye. Just slug Bill and got away with our pickup truck. What? Let her roll, Bosun. Oh, I can't do it! Oh. 